Kings Libraries using the school's Union Catalog database. This is John with Opal's Library Systems and in this tutorial I will be returning an item borrowed from a lending library. I will be using the Greater Southern Tier BOCES School Library System Library. Thank you very much to GST and I will be returning the item to the Horseheads Middle School Library. Thank you Horseheads for letting me use your library for these recordings. The first thing I'll do is go up to the ILL tab, click ILL, and I won't be using responses because responses are used if I'm lending somebody some other library an item. I will be clicking requests as I have requested an item, it was received, and now it's time to send it back. So I'll click requests, and in a moment right here you'll see that the request came up. Here's my ILL ID, the title, call number, author, the responder, i.e. the library that lent me the book, Horseheads Middle. It was requested on 2 7 22. The expiry date was 2 28. And just a note, the expiry date is when you're requesting an item, if a teacher or student or somebody at the school doesn't need it after a certain date, you can put the expiry date in and any lending library will see that date. And if they can't get it to you in time, they probably would not send you the item. And you also see that the item has been filled and it was filled to my library, the GST, Greater Southern Tier Bosey School Library System li Library. So to return this item, I will click the item ID, ILL ID. Here we are. And you see that it was filled. Here's the title, author, all the necessary information. The borrower at my library was John S. There's no ID, and I'll mention this again. In an electronic transmission in the state of New York, you never want to put, or you cannot put, a user's name, a student, teacher, somebody at the school's name, and their ID in a single electronic transmission. So you'll see that the borrower is John S., and that is just to help me, when the book comes from the lending library, to know who to give it to but you'll not see an ID here. You'll see that the Horseheads Middle School District, Central School District, the middle school, lent me the book. And here's a few notes uh, that you can put in anytime you're requesting or returning books, you can put in notes. All right, so I've got the record on the screen. I'm going to the very bottom, and you'll see some options. I can request a renewal. I can return it. I can print for a shelf lookup. That's usually when you're lending a book uh, and you want to find the book in your library, you can print out the call numbers and go look for the book. I could print a packing slip, I can add a note, and I can report that the item was lost so that the lending library knows that somehow the book got lost at my library. I am the borrowing library. I'm simply going to return this, so I'm going to click return and um, you'll see that here's the barcode so I'm just going to copy this barcode you'll have a scanner most likely and you can just scan the lending or the book that you borrowed into this spot and then I'm going to click here um, and I'll put in a public note or I've got my barcode scanned in of the book I'm returning I've got my check mark here I'm putting in a private note no need to do anything as this ILL was for testing only so now I'll click OK, and you'll see now that it's got a returned in transit. Actually, it hasn't left my library, um, but I'll, it'll be leaving today with my courier system. Prior to leaving, I may like to print out a slip. Maybe I lost the packing slip that came, whatever. So before I actually pack it up, even though it says it's in transit, it will be in 10 minutes. So I'm going to click print slip, number of copies, there's my item, there's my loan ID, there's my status, status, it's returned but it's in transit, in a few minutes actually. I'll click OK, and here's my packing slip that I could print out, put it with the book, pack it, and send it back to the library. And you'll see it's covered with the copyright restrictions, the requester, the borrower at my library, etc. So it's got a good deal of information and it's very good to print this item or this uh, packing slip and return it. Here's your print button right here. 
If there's any questions or if you need some support, please email support at opalsinfo.net or call 877-331-1022 and ask for tech support. We're always glad to help out. Thank you.